Look quite calm for maidens. And away they go, it looks like. They're racing then for the R&M Cornock four and five-year-olds open maiden race, coming to the first of the 14 fences that they're going to jump. Craig B. in, I think it was right up there with Auckland Day Ray over the first. One or two jumped it rather strangely, and we've lost. I think it's Fleetwood Pat. We'll see more clearly. Certainly we lost one that looked to be Fleetwood Pat. See if we pick him up in a moment. As they just uh, reappear, going very gently indeed, right away at the top of the course. Auckland Day Ray then is out of out in uh, front just about and uh, all taking a pull and I think Fleetwood Pat I can, can confirm is not there he's not as they come on their long steady run and big loop around towards uh, fence number two coming into towards the fence then and still uh, Auckland Day Ray just about in front of uh, Craig B in and then Norman Conquest they look as if they'll be the Front three over that fence. Mr. Dinosaur jumping mid-div. Another rather untidy jump at the back by Father's Emperor, Mark Wallsmount. Um, he's being a bit hairy. So on they come then towards the next, coming to fence number three. And Auckland Day Ray over in front from uh, Craigby and Norman Conquest. They're all going still very steadily indeed passing fast probably racing just about four and then mr dinosaur mr joel Frazier seems to have settled quite well once they jumped off and as i say the back marker is father's emperor as they come to the next and better there all of them are a bit better at that so it's auckland day ray who goes on as they come back up towards us and then uh, craig being just ahead of the well-backed uh, give a hoot with a big white face there on the inside with passing fast alongside that one wide is the one in yellow and brown that's norman conquest sam drink water going the shorter way on mr dinosaur who got that huge amount of daylight just popped over it and uh, then we've got mr Joel frazy and father's emperor at the back so they've jumped five of the 14 now have quite a long swing round to the four fences in the next section of the course Tom David then with Auckland Day Ray has made it just a very steady pace indeed from Tom Ellis and Craig B in in second and then give a hoot ahead of a Norman Conquest. Mr Dinosaur just lobbing along on the inside is ahead of passing fast and Father's Emperor has now got ahead of Mr Joel Frazy. On they go to the next and all jump that uh, relatively well. Short run then to fence seven and Auckland Day Ray continues to dictate matters. So the one who's lost a bit of ground is Norman Conquest. There was another rather untidy jump there by Father's Emperor. As they come to the next plane fence, Auckland Day Ray goes on from Craig B in Give a Hoot. And finally, Father's Emperor makes one mistake too many and came down. So they go to the open ditch, fence number nine. Auckland Day Ray over in front from uh, Craig B in Give a Hoot. And then Norman Conquest still racing upsides with uh, Mr. Dinosaur as they go around that marker with passing fast out wider and the back marker, Mr. Joel Frazy. So they're racing away then to go back past the point from which they started. And then we'll be coming back towards uh, fence number 10. Uh, we may pick them up in a second. Just approaching that one now. Still Auckland, Day Ray, Craig B in, give a hoot. Mr. Dinosaur going up well. The front four look as if they're beginning to pull away from Mr. Joel Frazy. Passing fast, who did not jump that fence well, is uh, still going, but struggling as would appear to be Norman Conquest. Certainly those three have work to do to keep up with the four leaders who are still Auckland, Day Ray, Led Auckland Day Ray in front. Glad to see Mark Wall is walking back after his fall with Father's Emperor. So horse and rider are unscathed. And Auckland Day Ray swings back ahead of Craig B in Give a Hoot and uh, Mr. Dinosaur still going very comfortably. And Mr. Joel Frazy has got back to these as they race then to fence number 11. Coming on to jump it, Auckland Day Ray went through that first blunder by the long time leader. At the back, some very tired looking jumps by both Norman Conquest and Passing Fast. You wonder if they'll go much further. But Auckland Day Ray now in front, coming on to fence number 12 by only a narrow margin over Mr. Dinosaur, on whom Sam Drinkwater doesn't seem to have exerted any energy whatsoever. 
And then battling away further back, we have Craig B in. I think he's still just ahead of Gibber Hoot. And Mr. Jal Frazier continues to run on. And Norman Conquest and Passing Fast are continuing. As Mr. Dinosaur hits the front for the first time at the second last, Auckland Day Ray and Tom David still fighting on. But it's uh, Mr. Dinosaur who's gone on by a couple of lengths yet. Yeah, the jockey hasn't had to go for the whip. All the others are under pressure. So here's Mr. Dinosaur comes towards the last and jumps it really neatly and gets away from it well. Mr. Day Ray's got tired, just slithered a bit on landing. Craig B. In landed in third place over the final fence, but up towards the line, it's a complete saunter in the end for Mr. Dinosaur. Good effort by Auckland Day Ray, who takes second, and it'll be close for third with Mr. Joel Frazier running on to dispute that with Craig B. In, and they're followed by Give a Hoot. And also, appearing to complete, are both the Norman Conquest and a very tired-looking passing fast.